All right, here's a good shot too. Look at those hippos. Mm -hmm. Those, you know, they look hungry. They definitely look hung like hungry, hungry hippos. They look like hungry, hungry hippos. So now, Very dangerous creature right there. Super dangerous. I'm gonna make a, a suggestion. Of course, you don't have. These are just. The, this is called how, how would I, I would edit your photo. It's not, it's not the official anything. But I would say this: What is the star of this show? The definitely hippos. The hippos. Is the background and all that junk behind it the star of the show? No. Well, I mean, that, that branch up there looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, the first thing that I would do is, and you're going to hate me for this, I would get rid of the outside two hippos, and I yeah, would focus in, in on the water and the, the group of hippos in the middle. It tells the same story because right now, what do I have? I got a bunch of hippos. I got a yeah. bunch of hippos off in the distance. What I want is hippos close. So I'm going to go in here with the crop tool in Lightroom. I'm going to get rid of that hippo. I'm going to get rid of that hippo. Yep. And I'm going to get rid of a lot of the background because really this is what we're all about, right? This yeah, is the it, subject. It's nice to see a little bit of the background to see that depth. But you yeah, don't need to see I want to see. I want to see the land and I want to see that they... Much of it. All right, now look at the the top of the hippos it's very very blue right and they're kind of i would definitely go and add some yellow some warmth into here and i would lower the exposure mm -hmm. so i'm and maybe raise the contrast something like that and then i, I don't know if my crop maybe i need to move up a little bit i don't i don't want to i hate to put the hippos right in the middle but i think that might be where they they belong that looks better how do you think that crop looks better yeah that definitely looks better. all right so the crop's better uh we still have a lot of blue and that's probably reflection from the sky and you can just leave that as is if you want uh the next thing i would do is let's see what else let's pull back the highlights a bit that looks okay i would probably uh, increase the texture a lot and a little bit of clarity. Clarity is going to make the water look a little shinier. And that's going to work in our favor. And I think the blue is distracting to me. I would probably go to the masks, to the brush, and I would go down to color and paint in yellow. Just, it's not going to get rid of the blue because I didn't do enough of it. But I just, I don't want to, I don't even want to notice that there's blue, really. I mean, you could go to the color mixer, too, and just, I mean, there's nothing else that I can really see that's blue-blue. Yeah. That you could just kind of, like, kill a lot of the saturation in yep. the blue channel. And you could do that as well. You could just go to the, uh, well, we don't have the HSL in uh, the mask. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm just saying overall, the whole image, because I don't see any other blue. Oh, yeah, that's true. You could do that. So we could go to the whole image, go to the color mixer, click on this little icon right here. This is the yep. targeted adjustment tool. You take it and you put it over a color you want to reduce or enhance, and you can, I'm going to reduce it. Oh, oh I'm on luminance. luminance. I want to yeah. go to saturation. saturation. Sorry, there's three tabs. You can change the color. You can change the amount of the color, or you can change the brightness of the color. And we wanted, I was on luminance because that's where mm -hmm. I usually work. We're going to go to saturation and click that same tool and just lower the amount of blues. It sees a lot of aqua in there. There we go. Something more like that. I yeah. don't want to see so much, so much. Blue. I actually, that technique right there, I'd love to do when you have like colors that just, you know, we're not there. Yeah. That's just, again, reflection. It's probably actually the sky reflect, you know, it's the reflecting. Oh, yeah. So I'm thinking yeah. this is the sky. I'm going to go to the effects and add a little bit of a, a negative vignette just around the edges, just a little bit, just enough so you, so it takes the heat off. Look, just a little tiny bit. Yep. I went a little too far. I kind of like to be around minus 11. And I think you've got a, a much stronger picture. And then, of course, let's go ahead and sharpen it. Let's go drop in some topaz. The magic stuff right at the end. The magic stuff right at the end. And it'll analyze it. It says it was a little out of focus, and it, it was very blurry. And you can see what it did. Ooh, it sharpened yeah. it up nice. Look at the grass. Yeah. And look at look at the eyes. Ooh, that eyes. did a good. Ooh, that yeah. did a good job there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I blew it up bigger than it should be. There we go. That's 100% size, so. Yeah. Actually, 
the three right there, the three amigos. I know or, these or, right if here. You were like in another couple hundred millimeters. Oh those yeah. Amigos, ooh. Yeah, because you could really. I'm just going to show yeah. you. It's yeah. going to be tighter this than. Is, you're going to need a lens upgrade. You're going to need a just get in. But if you could have got in there. Oh yeah, yeah, just those three. Oh, that's nice. Nope. That's nice. Now. How do you make this large enough? I've cropped it in really tight. How could I make this large enough to print? Oh, or this, uh, there's a couple ways, but I know uh, I use um, go under resize. the file menu, go under automate, and choose on one resize, resize. 2023. Isn't that yeah. last year's technology? Shh. Yeah, it'll be. It'll no. That's what thing. Yeah, it's amazing. Even cropped in as much as you did using that. Oh yeah, let's go to 300 percent. Click done. Yeah. Wait for it to to render. See. Yeah. And, and there you go. And there you go. You got. There we go. You got hippos hungry, hungry. I like the three. Yes. Now I will tell you this. This is going to sound yeah. like a pain in the butt. But I promise you, if you took the time, it would be worth it. The one distracting thing in this photo, take a look at it, are all those bubbles. Water bubbles. I would go through with the healing brush, spot healing brush. It's going to take you 20 minutes or a half an hour to get rid of the most egregious ones. Yeah, you don't have to get rid of them all. But you have to get rid of a lot of a them. A lot of them, maybe 80%. Yeah. You don't want to get rid of every single one. But it'll clean up and simplify your photo like you cannot believe. So you can see I'm just getting rid of them here. I mean, you could even, if you're going to go that far, clean up the shoreline too. Yeah, you could probably do a little bit of that as well. But, but anyway, you can see what a difference this is already making.